All right, John's out on the road again for us this morning. He's at the Coastal Cupboard in Mount Pleasant, and he's having some Halloween fun right now. John, what is going on? Hey, there. hey, Tessa, good hey. morning to you. I'm checking on my Channel 4 pancake here going right now. I want to make sure we don't burn that because that one's going to be yours later. Uh, Chef Steven is here with the Coastal Cupboard. He's got so many kitchen gadgets. I love it. I love coming here. It's so much fun. Right now, we're going to start off with the, uh, what is this? This is the pancake pen. Is that correct? Pancake pen. That's okay. I made the nice little number four there. Um, it's just a real simple thing. It's good for cupcakes as well. You fill up the batter, and we just go ahead and make the pancakes. Easy, breezy, no mess. We like that. And these are some special pancakes because, uh, you know, we got fall coming up and there's a lot of taste of fall that we want to get into. So tell me how you made these pancakes. Basically, I used some buckwheat flour, some baking soda, sugar, salt, and then I used some maple pumpkin butter that we have here in the store. Um, and the whole recipe is on our website. It's real simple to make. And pumpkin's so big right now in flavors. It's in coffee, it's in candy, it's in uh, candy corn, just about everything. Why do you like pumpkin so much, and how does it really express fall? Well, it's just because it's the only time of year that you can really get the, the pumpkins. And, you know, there's a variety of different pumpkins you can use, and I just, I love it. You know, it reminds me of being a kid in Thanksgiving. So. Absolutely. And these pancakes, we want to make sure that we come over and flip these, right, and get them off the griddle a little bit. So do they cook a little different because they're buckwheat, or is it all just the same? No, it's all the same. It's just a different type of flour, and um, it's actually a gluten-free flour, so it's kind of nice. So healthy for everybody as well. Mm -hmm. And we got some finished product over here. We're going to use a couple other gadgets on our finished product because you made some whipped cream for us. Yes, sir. Scooping that up right now on these beautiful silver dollar buckwheat pancakes. I like that. That looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and shave some chocolate on top because that way the kids will really enjoy it. So healthy still. Absolutely. <laughs> this is a low-fat chocolate. so It's a special breakfast treat, is yeah. what you're telling me. Yes, sir. Okay, also we want to get to this delicious soup, because uh, this pile of bacon that's been here all day long is so tantalizing. Tell us what you're going to do with that. That's just going to be a garnish for the soup. We actually use the bacon grease um, to cook the onions and the celery that's in the uh, soup itself. So we're going to zip off a little bit of this corn with the corn zipper here. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It looks just like a regular peeler, but uh, it's a little bit different and really handy. Yeah, it's got these little teeth on it, and it's really nice to, you know, just to get the corn right off the cob, and there's really no mess at all. It just pulls it right down. So the traditional butter knife has been replaced. You don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, no more butter knives, no more pocket knives for this. Well, tell us about the soup, because it smells so good, Chet. The soup, it's, it's a corn chowder. It's got some potatoes, celery, um, garlic, obviously, a little bit of garlic, and then we're finishing it off with the corn, which has been a little, it's been roasted ahead of time. So we're going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and give it a quick stir. Corn, another popular uh, fall time garnish, you oh, could say. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's no more uh, corn on the cob. It's more of roasted and smoked product. So we're just going to get a little bit on top there, and we're going to garnish it with the bacon. I wish everyone in the home could smell this. It smells so delicious right now. Well, what are some of your favorite fall flavors that you guys have? Well, obviously, you got to go with squash. I'm a huge fan of squash um, in any form. You can roast it. I'm a big fan of smoking it, but acorn squash just reminds me of being a kid with some butter, cinnamon, nutmeg. It's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, vegetable. And the best part about this is you teach people how to make and cook like this. Yeah, we do classes pretty much five days a week for lunch and dinner, um, mostly at lunch. And, you know, they're an hour-long class, and it's, they're a good time. You know, get people in and out in an hour, it's some people's lunch break. So, What are some of your, uh, your upcoming classes that you really are excited about? Um, I'm always excited about doing the shrimp and grits. Those are, seem to be pretty popular classes. And then um, paella. I, I'm really getting into the Spanish cuisine, so we're doing a authentic paella with rabbit and duck, and it's going to be really nice. It does sound fantastic. Now, these pancakes here, they look so good. I, it, the consistency, does it change at all because you're using a little different ingredients? I know you didn't even go with a mix. You made this all from scratch. Yeah, I made it from scratch. Um, and no, it's just the buckwheat flour really doesn't change it at all. It's um, We had these growing up as kids. Uh, my brothers and I, but it doesn't change the product at all. It just makes it a nice, healthy, gluten-free, and fall flavors. And talk to me about the pancake pen one more time. How much easier does that make it? There's no mess. Oh, there's no mess at all, you know, and it's great. You know, I don't have batter all over the place, and you just have it upside down like that, and it's got a little cup that's going to catch any excess batter. But it's really nice for cupcakes, too, so you don't have batter all over your cupcake pans as yeah, well. Great fall flavors here. You guys also have an extensive wine selection here at Coastal Cupboard. Yeah, we, um, you know, we try to get wines that you're not going to be able to find in a grocery store. It's boutique wine, and, you know, they're priced very fairly, and, 
you know, it's nice. I, I get to sample a lot of these wines, so I'm getting a little bit of knowledge with the wine myself. The perks of the job, and we're going to sample some of this great food. Chef, thank you so much for making it. We really do appreciate it. Again, if you want to check out Coastal Cupboards here in the Bell Hall Shopping Center, you guys also have a website you can go to and learn more about those cooking classes. Yep, the coastalcover.com. Um, we have all our cooking classes and pretty much everything that we have here in stores on the website as well and the recipes that I've made today. All right, Chef Stephen, thank you so much, sir. We My do pleasure. appreciate it. Tessa, i got to flip your Channel 4 pancake right now, so I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. All right. Right, great. I tell you what, I'm not one for too much of being in the kitchen, but the coastal cupboard makes me want to get into the kitchen. John, bring some back. Well, it's time to race for a cure to beat breast cancer. And just ahead, get details on this weekend's big race and meet the winner of this month's Paint for the Cure contest. And who loves to shag? Well, lots of low country folks enjoy it. Meet the co-author of a new book that honors our state days.